Welcome, welcome, everybody. God bless you. God bless you, Prophet. God bless you, everyone. How y'all doing today? Thank you for inviting followers. Heart me up, heart me up. God bless you. This is uh, Prophetess Kimberly Hargraves. I'm the founder of Rejoice Essential Magazines. God bless you, Prophet Long. God bless you, Prophet Fred Lewis. God bless you, woman of God. How you doing? God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. I usually don't scope in the midday, but a burden of prayer and intercession just came upon me. So we need to pray. I know a lot of people are discouraged in the body of Christ. A lot of people are getting ready to throw in a towel. My God. Sorry, I'm trying not to cry. I just feel overwhelmed. I feel God's presence. My God. Woo. But my heart is a little bit sad because... This woman of God, you know, I brought her to church. I was the first person that brought her to church. She just posted on my Facebook. She posted on my Facebook. She said that going to church and reading the Bible was the worst thing in her life. So it really, it literally broke my heart. You know, it literally broke my heart. You know, that she felt like that. And she said that she felt like the devil was more powerful than God. But that is a lie from the pits of hell. That is a lie from the pits of hell. So it, my heart is like breaking right now. I don't know about y'all, but I, I cry over souls. I, I cry. I, 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 my God, hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Woo. So I know a lot of people are tired. You know, nobody said in this walk it's going to be easy. Nobody said in this walk you ain't going to go through nothing. Nobody ever told you that it's going to be peaches and cream. How you doing, Miss May? How you doing? So it literally broke my heart. Heart me up, heart me up, if you like what I'm saying. So we're just going to pray. We're going to pray for this young lady. And I just want you to touch and agree, and then we're going to pray. Amen. I know God is going to move. I feel his presence. My God. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. You said I ministered wealth to you yesterday. My car got totaled in the same day. Oh, my God. Well, this is a distraction. Um, I know that, you know, when a prophet, when they prophesy over you, it seems like the opposite will happen. And... Yes, yep, God is in control, yep, because the enemy wants to steal that prophecy, he wants to steal that prophetic word, so you can doubt and not believe, but you have, we have to war with our prophecies, we got to war with our prophecies, amen, you got to say, God, your prophet said this, and da 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 God, you said this, you got to war with that prophecy, you got to get up, so God decree a, a new vehicle in Sis D's life, in Jesus' name, hallelujah, got to get the enemy off of here, hallelujah. Uh, it's okay okay my god yes okay so we're, we're gonna pray at the i'm gonna take prayer requests at the end but let me just let's pray for this lady right quick lord god we just lift up this lady lord god lord i pray that she gets saved and delivered lord and i pray that she doesn't doubt you anymore god and god just show her god just touch her god with your power god hallelujah god just give her a demonstration god i rebuke any discouragement off this young lady that's ready to backslide and go back into the world in jesus name hallelujah so let me just get into this i know i have a word i have a right now word for somebody i know holy spirit's going to speak hallelujah so let me just flip this okay i will be in houston texas with my spiritual mentor prophet sean morris i will be praying for the sick you can go register um the seating is limited so just go to seanmorris.org and the dates are august the 5th through august the 7th I also have a prophetic miracle call coming up. It is a night watch call. I love praying at night. It's going to be this Saturday at 11 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. Um, the, the number is 605-562-3140, code 673436. All right. Also, um, check my show out Saturday, um, eternallifetv.com, Warfare Strategies. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you, uh, Pastor. Don't go nowhere. I have a word for you. My God, hallelujah. So I will teach you how to, um, you know, just pray how the Holy Spirit teaches me how to pray and open up the word of God to you with different weapons in, in the word. Amen. And the last thing, um, this ministry is on uh, World Harvest Radio on Sunday nights. Um, we're taking the gospel of Jesus Christ to Central America, South America, and just different parts of, you know, just the continent of South America, just different uh, countries inside there. So I'm excited about what God is doing. I just did a broadcast for the show, and I'm talking about Jesus Christ, how Jesus Christ calmed the storm. I don't care what situation you are in in your life, any limitation, Jesus Christ will calm the storm in Jesus' name. My God, how you doing, Prophetess Watson? You know, and then I also did a broadcast for a warfare strategy, so I'm kind of stared up. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Sisty. Hallelujah.
But yeah, do not get distracted. Amen. So today we're going to be reading out of one of my books. I have written eight books. So this is like my second or third book, Overcoming Emotions with Prayers, A Guide to Faith. I wrote this book in the darkest time of my life. I wrote this book when I, I lost everything. I lost my dreams, my, hope, uh, my, 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 my hopes, my aspirations. I hit rock bottom and the Holy Spirit, you know, he started giving me ideas and telling me how to write. So yes, I have a, I have a right now word for somebody. So we're going to talk about discouragement today, and then we're going to decree and declare, and then I might take some prayer requests. It, it depends on what God wants to do today. Hallelujah. So a lot of people are discouraged in the body of Christ. A lot of people want to give up. A lot of people getting ready to throw in the towel. Well, don't you dare give up. Thank you so much. Don't you dare give up. My God, I know it looks rough right now. I know it looks tough right now. I know it hurts. I know it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good struggling. It does not feel good struggling at all. But God. God is for you, my God, and God is with you during the tough times, during the tough times, maybe some of y'all can't even figure out how God, how you going to do this, God, Lord God, how, how, God, when is it going to work out, Lord God, God, I'm, I'm tired of going this, God, I'm tired of struggling, God, God, when are you going to work this situation out for me, my God, if that's you today, do not get discouraged, do not take the bait of discouragement, somebody, do not take the bait of discouragement, the enemy wants you to get discouraged when you pray to God about something and you don't see the immediate manifestations of those prayers. Do not take the bait of discouragement. You know, discouragement can happen to the to the best of us. It doesn't matter how much God uses me, how much God uses whoever, you know, even Elijah in the Bible, he became discouraged. Come on, somebody. He got discouraged and he wanted to die. Who am I talking to today? He got discouraged and he wanted to give up. Do not take the bait of discouragement. Let me tell you something. The reason why your, 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 your prayers are delayed because God wants to build your faith. He literally wants to build your faith. That's right. We must travail. We must travail. He's building your faith. And not only is he building your faith, he's building your character and he's pruning some things off. He's pruning some things off of you. My God, maybe some of y'all got lust on here. You need to get delivered from lust. Maybe some of y'all, my God, got pride and God wants to deliver you from that pride. Maybe some of y'all, my God, you know, are double-minded and God wants to build that faith in you. Who am I talking to? God is building your character, somebody. My God, you praying for God to use you. you I'm telling you, my God, some of y'all, you got to go through some things, you know, to, to carry that anointing. You got to suffer to carry that anointing. You know, somebody saying, God, I, I, I want to operate in miracles. Well, don't you know that anointing is going to cost you something? It's literally going to cost you something. God, I want to be great in the kingdom. God, I want you to use me, God. God, I want to prophesy, God, like never before, God. God, I want to heal the sick, God. God, I want to cast out devils, God, in your name, Jesus. My God, nobody never told us that this walk was going to be easy. Matter of fact, the word tells us that if we suffer with Christ, my God, we got to reign with Christ. I mean, we get to reign with Christ. Hallelujah. The word tells us that we, we, come on now, we are hairs of God, joint hairs with Jesus Christ. But if we share in his sufferings, we get to also share in those same comfort somebody. Nobody never said this walk was going to be easy. Yes, we all go through things. Even the best of us, we all go through difficulties. It doesn't feel good. But I want to encourage you today to keep the faith and don't you dare give up. Don't you dare give up. So today we're going to talk about discouragement. You know, maybe some people are discouraged because, you know, you, you, don't, you don't got that job yet. You're discouraged because you ain't got that spouse yet. Maybe you're discouraged because things are falling apart in your marriage. Maybe you're discouraged because you've been praying for something for a long time. Maybe you're discouraged because it don't seem like nothing is happening in your ministry. Maybe you're discouraged because your kids are acting up. Maybe you're discouraged because you're just tired of being sick and tired. Hallelujah. Don't take the bait of discouragement, somebody. Thank you so much. Don't take the bait. We're going to keep pressing forward. We're going to keep our eyes on Jesus Christ during the storm. We're not going to give up. We're not going to get frustrated. We're not going to be discouraged. We're not going to let our emotions run our life. We're not going to let our emotions run our life. You know, God is so faithful to his promises. Every prophetic word is going to come to pass. 
it's going to come to pass. I'm, man, I'm telling you, because God is not a man whom he shall lie. Amen? Come on, neither is he the son of man that shall, rep shall repent. Amen? So, don't be discouraged. So, we're going we're gonna to be decreeing. We're going to be declaring, declaring some things. Amen? Hallelujah. So according to, to Webster, the dictionary of Webster, hallelujah. That's right. That's right. Remember the last storm? God got you through. I'm telling you, he always comes through. You know, so what is discouragement? Many of y'all feel like that today. You know, it's, it's to be deprived of courage. Come on now. That's what the enemy wants to do. He wants you to be fearful. He wants you to give up. He wants you to doubt. It's to, it's to deprive you of courage. You know, the word tells us, he commands us in the word to be strong and courageous. He tells us to be strong and courageous. So discouragement deprives you of that courage, somebody. You know, what is discouragement? Hallelujah. Bless you, bless you. Don't go nowhere. Something new. Hallelujah. I might have a word for you. Thank you for inviting followers. Hallelujah. My God, hallelujah. Discouragement is to be deprived of hope. I'm here to prophesy to you today that your situation is not hopeless. Your situation is not hopeless. Come on, somebody. Discouragement deprives you of confidence. Many of you are not confident right now. You don't even have confidence in God. You don't have confidence in yourself. Yes, discouragement is, is not good. My God, hallelujah. I'm trying to, let me put this thing down because my arms are hurting. I cannot hold this thing and hold this tablet at the same time. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hallelujah. So, my God, hallelujah. So, my God, so discouragement will cause you to be depressed. Discouragement will cause you to be disheartened. Discouragement will cause you to be sorrowful. Discouragement, you know, will cause you to be dispirited, gloomy, melancholy. Come on, somebody. Discouragement will cause you to, to not want to get out of bed in the morning, to do simple things, to like comb your hair, to take a shower, to not talk to people that love you and care about you, to not fellowship with people. Discouragement will cause you to, to go inside your cave and not want to come out. Discouragement will cause you to miss church, to call off from your job, somebody. That's what discouragement will do. Discouragement will cause you to be less of a mom, less of a father, less of a wife, less of a husband. Who am I talking to today? That's what discouragement does. It's really debilitating if you sit in that negative emotion. It's really debilitating because you want to give up. You want to get frustrated. Come on, that's right. You coming out that cave. You coming out that cave in Jesus' name. That's right. Hallelujah. So, I just want to encourage somebody today. That's right. Everything is going to be good. Everything's working out for our good. You know, we got to seek God. So, you know, God is in control. God is in control. You know, we need to ask God for wisdom when we go through the storm. We literally need to ask God for wisdom. And ask him for wisdom. And say, God, what do you want me, God, to learn out of this storm? What's the reason for the struggle? God, what's the reason, God, for the pain? My God, God is delivering some of y'all right now. So God is getting ready to bring you out and deliver you. And guess what? You're going to be able to minister to some people that's going through the same thing that God just delivered you out of. I'm literally, oh my God, you're getting ready to deliver, uh, to bring, God's going to use you to bring deliverance, somebody. To your family. You're going to be the one, hallelujah, to bring salvation to your family. You're going to be the one that's going to bring salvation to your workplace. You're going to be the one, hallelujah, that's going to walk in those dark places. My God, and be a light in those, those dark places. You're literally going to be the one, my God. So God is going to use you. It, it may seem like you had a uh, heartache and you went through a bad breakup. You, you Everything that could have went wrong in your life went wrong. That's because God is building a testimony in you. God is building a testimony in you, somebody. And when you open up your mouth, it's going to be powerful, my God. And you're going to have a story to tell. And people are going to look at you and be like, my God, my God. Is she telling the, telling the lie? Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for his timer. My God, hallelujah. So, God will not put more on you than you can bear. I know you heard that before. God has given you the grace. Check this out. He has given you the grace to go through that struggle, to go through that pain, my God. And sometimes we got to suffer, God. we got to suffer for his glory. I know it doesn't feel good, but sometimes we got to suffer for his glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hallelujah. It doesn't feel good. That pain doesn't feel good. But guess what? 
My God, I just preached a message for World Harvest Radio about how Jesus Christ calms the storm. Jesus Christ, he calmed the storm. He was on the middle of this boat and the winds, my God, they were blowing powerfully and the waves, they were crashing onto the ship. They were crashing overboard. The waves of the sea were crashing on the board of the ship and the disciples were freaking out and they thought they were going to die. But Jesus Christ was calm. He was peaceful. He was asleep. Come on, somebody. Jesus Christ is with you during the storm, and he is, uh, I mean, I'm not going to say he's asleep, but he's with you, and he's calming the storm. Let me prophesy over your situation. He is calming the storm, my God. Jesus, he is calming the storm. So just like the disciples were freaking out during the storm, and they woke Jesus up, and Jesus rebuked them. He said, oh, ye a little faith. He said, oh, ye a little faith. Come on now, hallelujah. It's time for somebody to get your faith up. Get your faith up. You cannot afford to not be in faith. You cannot afford to not be in faith. That's why right. he knows our end from the beginning. My God, Jesus. Some of y'all faith are shaking. But let me tell you something. You got some faith in there. And I'm here today to pull it out in Jesus' name. My God, so you can believe again. So you can believe again. You will not give up. You will not give up in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So, you know. God is with us during the storm. That's right. That's right. It must be tested. That's right. A faith not uh, tested cannot be trusted somebody. And God is testing the genuineness of our faith somebody. That's right. He's testing that genuineness of our faith. Come on. How can you say you got faith? You ain't never been through nothing. Hallelujah. Some of y'all want to work miracles. Some of y'all want to prophesy. Some of y'all want to heal the sick. Come on, somebody. I'm, I'm just being real. But you got to go through something to build that faith up. You got to go through something. Jesus. Hallelujah. So when the enemy comes in like a flood, come on now. You know this word. Put this up. Put this up. The spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against them. The spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against them. When the enemy comes in like a flood, he's going to lift up a standard against them. He's going to lift up the word. You know, God is more powerful than the word. He is more powerful. I'm, I said it wrong. He is more powerful than the enemy trying to cause uh, chaos in our lives. He is more powerful than the enemy trying to cause destruction in our life. He is more powerful than that storm in your life. He is more powerful than, than all that heartache and confusion. Because God is not a God of confusion, somebody. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's right. That's right. God is moving. I, I, I feel his presence. There's such a peace here. Hallelujah. So you have the choice. Make the choice today. Make the choice and say, God, I will no longer be discouraged. God, I, I, I cast my cares, Lord, on you. God, I give you the pain, God. I give you the burden, God. God, I give you the unbelief, God. I give you the sorrow, God. I give you the heartache, God. Lord, God, heal my heart. Somebody need to pray like that. Heal our heart in Jesus' name. God, hallelujah. So you have the choice to stand in faith. To keep fighting or to give up. You know? But why give up? Why let the enemy win? Hallelujah. That's where I'm going to pray for you, prophet. Hallelujah. Why let the enemy win? We're going to keep fighting today. We're going to keep pressing. Hallelujah. Forward. Somebody just need to keep pressing on. My God. So, you know, God, he, he, allowed us, uh, 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 he allowed the enemy to attack Job in the Bible. He allowed him to cause that tribulation in his life. But Job, come on now, he kept pressing on. This man, you know, his friends was talking crazy in his ear, you know, trying to accuse him for doing something wrong. And he broke out and he was sick in his body, balls, all his kids died. He lost his crops, but he kept going on. Some of y'all couldn't even walk in Job's shoe for one day. And you complaining about what you're going through. Hallelujah. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Yeah. Email me at info at KimberlyHarvest.com. Hallelujah. And I would love to uh, answer any questions or clarify any words I've spoken. Hallelujah. That's right. Hallelujah. So, Job received a double portion. Oh, my God. Of, you know, for his troubles. I hear to prophesy to you today. Hallelujah. Yes. My Facebook name is Prophetess Kimberly Hargraves. Hallelujah. Oh, I confirmed it? Okay. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When, when I prophesy, my mind cuts off. 
so I don't remember what I say. Hallelujah. So, you know, I have faith enough to open up my mouth and God speaks when I prophesy. Hallelujah. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. So Job received a double portion. He received a, he received a double portion. So I come to prophesy to you today to tell you that you're getting ready to receive a double portion for all the pain you went through, for all the heartache you went through, for all the struggle you went through somebody. Uh, your double portion. Come on now. God is getting ready to give us double for our trouble. Yes, hallelujah. Holly, how you doing, Kendrick? Prophet Kendrick, how you doing? Nice to meet you, man of God. Hallelujah, my God. Hallelujah. I try not to prophesy. I feel, I feel like a word. I feel words bubbling up from me in me for people. I'm trying to trying to stay on course. Hallelujah. So, my God, you know, and Job's latter days were better than his former days. Somebody, his latter days were better than his former days. Hallelujah. Come on. I'm here to prophesy to you today. I'm talking about individual prophecies. My God, that our latter days are going to be better than our former days. My God, and a lot of people right now, you are looking at lost time. Maybe you're praying for something. Maybe the last three years of your life been hell. I'm here to tell you that God is going to restore and he's going to make, um, I'm telling you, he's going to make up for that lost time, the time that you, that you thought you lost. Amen. He's going to make up for that last, hallelujah. It's going to make up for that lost time. You know, we serve a God of restoration. We serve a God who answers prayer to somebody. He's real. Hallelujah. That's right. Hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. So at the end of your tribulation, catch this, catch this, catch this. You're going to have a double blessing, somebody. And you're going to have a testimony, a powerful testimony. People are going to be looking at you like, oh, I don't believe you. You're lying. Nah, that's not true. My God. You know, I'm telling you, my God. Jesus, just receive it. My God, hallelujah. So we're going to pray, and, and hallelujah. And I'm going to, after I finish, I'm going to take some prayer requests, and I might prophesy over you, some of y'all. My God, hallelujah. So God, we just, I'm just going to thank God in advance. God, I thank you, God, for the miracles, God. God, I thank you, God, for the testimonies, God. God, I thank you, Lord God, for the breakthroughs, Lord God, on today, Lord God. Lord God, I call forth the breaker anointing, the breakthrough anointing, God, to break through, Lord God, any limitation, Lord God. And God, I thank you, God, you confirm this word with your fire, God. Woo, Jesus, God, and I thank you, God, that you deliver these people on today from discouragement. In Jesus' name, Lord God. So, God, we will worship you, Lord God, with all our heart, God, and all our soul, God. Somebody's tell God you love him. Somebody's tell God thank him in advance. Because God is going to do it. God is going to do this thing. I, I I feel, my God, I feel fire in my heart for somebody. I feel God touching broken hearts today. I feel God, my God. I feel fire in my stomach for somebody. God is giving somebody a fresh word today. Just receive it. My God, I feel the fire of God on the scope right now in Jesus' name. My God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's right, hallelujah. Thank you for saying that, uh, Miss D. Thank you, thank you, thank you, hallelujah. Yeah, if you want to sow in the ministry, go to my website, KimberlyHarvest.com. This is good ground. That's right, hallelujah. I, I, I feel fire, my God, Jesus. Lord God, touch God with fire right now in Jesus' name, my God. Hallelujah, Lord God. Lord God, I decree and declare uh, Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6 over us. That's right. You felt it. You felt that fire from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Jesus, fire, my God. Woo, my God. Somebody had a headache on here. You're, you're being healed of that headache right now. I, I literally feel God healing the headache right now. It was on your right side in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Just receive it. Receive it, receive it. I don't know if I don't know who you are, but if you had that headache, I dare you to move your head around. Hallelujah. And watch God and check for pain and let me know how you feel. Hallelujah. Jesus. My God, hallelujah. By I decree uh, Proverbs 5 and uh, you had a headache, Miss Kojic? Hallelujah. Proverbs 3, 5 and 6, it says, Trust in the Lord with, with all our heart and lean not on our own understanding. In all our ways, we're going to acknowledge God and he's going to direct our path. We want to acknowledge God and he's going to direct our path. I know you don't understand it. I know it hurts. I know it doesn't feel good. The, the situation at times. People don't betray you. People don't stand at you. People don't walk out your life. You know, it's a struggle that you have to go through sometimes in life. But God says, daughter, my son, if you can trust me, hallelujah, with all your heart. Not with some in your heart, you know, but all your heart. Hallelujah. No head is present, God, my God. My God, uh, somebody on here, you had this burden, you had this pain in your chest, like a heaviness in your chest. It lifts right now in Jesus' name. I said for fire to touch right now in Jesus' name, my God. 
I literally feel fire. I feel God touching and he's just, oh my God, I just feel him, my God, in this area. Jesus, some of y'all feel that fire right there. Who feel that fire on their chest? Hallelujah, in Jesus' name, hallelujah. My God, hallelujah, Lord God. God, I pray that we don't lean, God, on our own understanding, God. Hallelujah. But God, in all our ways, Lord God, we're going to acknowledge you. Even though we don't understand it at times, God, we're going to still acknowledge you, Lord God. And God, I thank you in advance that you're going to direct our path straight. Thank you for your family and ministry also. And thank you for your Lord. Thank you. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, I know that you are in control, Lord God. Hallelujah. Because your word says in Jeremiah 29, 11, you know, for I know the plans that you have for us, declares the Lord. Plans for welfare, not for evil to give us a future and a, a hope somebody just feel like it's hopeless like oh my god lord is it ever going to get better my god why well, decree jeremiah 29 11 over you that god is going to give you a future and a hope somebody hallelujah heart me up heart me up hallelujah if you like what i'm saying if you know somebody need this word somebody's been depressed invite followers hallelujah invite somebody hallelujah Lord God, I thank you, Lord God, just for peace. Just receive it. Hallelujah. Just receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Somebody need peace right now. Just receive it. My chest has been heavy and had a horrible headache, so that was you, Nikki. So I break that off for you right now. I break. Woo, Jesus. My God, I command heaviness to go right now in Jesus' name. I command pain to come out in Jesus' name. If you sick on here, if you sick in your body, hallelujah, just receive this anointing. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you at the end. Hallelujah. You know, hallelujah. I bind up the strong man of affirmity in Jesus' name. Get up, get up, get up while you're underneath this anointing. Get up, hallelujah, and bend over, touch your toes to something you couldn't do before. I command divine healing to manifest now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And tell me how you feel, Nikki, my God. I literally feel fire right here in my forehead. I feel fire coming on my back for somebody. Hallelujah. God is healing back pain right now. Oh, my God. He's touching. Hallelujah. And that discouragement is lifting. That, that sorrow is lifting somebody. My God. You feel the anointing. That's right. Get up, woman of God. God is doing it for you, Nikki. God is doing it for you, woman of God. Woman of God, your, your seed, woman of God, has opened up the heavens. Just get ready. Get ready for a new start. Get ready, ready, ready for an increase. Get ready. Hallelujah. As the Lord, he leads you. He's going to guide you, woman of God, into all truth. Get ready, Nikki, for more revelation. Get ready for outpour of my spirit, says the spirit of the living God. Get ready, get ready. I see you, woman of God. I see you studying the word as never before. I see you, hallelujah. Oh, my God, Jesus. God is consuming you, Nikki. I feel him. Get ready, woman of God. Hallelujah. Just uh, a divine intervention. I just hear one word. I hear two words. Divine intervention. God has given you a miracle, Nikki. God has given you a miracle in your finances. Give you a miracle in your family. Give you a miracle in your home. He's 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 turning it around. Hallelujah. Uh, I, I, I see a vehicle, woman of God. I don't even know if you wanted a vehicle. I don't even want it. Uh, 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 my God. Hallelujah. I, I see a, a vehicle coming. Hallelujah. Jesus. I don't know if you need a need a new car. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. That's right. I, pr I pray for your, your lawyers. Remind me again. Hallelujah. My God. Peace is coming upon you. Matter of fact, woman, God, you're going to get strength in your body. Receive strength right now in Jesus' name. My God. Hallelujah. Yeah, I just received an $80,000 student loan. Because look at that. Look at that. Hallelujah. Look at that. Jesus. She sold a $100 seed yesterday, and she just received a $80,000 student loan debt cancellation. That is God. That is nothing but God. Jesus. You can't tell me this ain't good ground. Jesus. That is like the third or fourth miracle testimony that I have received. The la a lady sold a $20 seed. She went to Walmart, and, you know, she got her tires changed for free. Come on. Come on, that's God. Hallelujah. A lady sold a $160 seed. Hallelujah. She went to the gas station. And I think uh, a couple of months ago, she had an incident where she went to go pump gas and gas exploded all over her. And the gas station is compensating her not just $100, but hundreds of dollars. And then on top of that, because of her seed, she was working a PRN position for months. She didn't have no stability in her life, and she just got called like two days ago, and she had an interview, and on the spot, they hired her because of her seed. Hallelujah, that's right. $80,000 paid. God did that because of a $100 seed. Come on, somebody. You cannot tell me what God won't do. My God, Jesus. 
Hallelujah. I'm excited. I feel like this in Jesus. Woo! Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Look at God. Look at God. Jesus. And a woman of God on here, my God, I think she sold a $25 seed. And she's believing God for favor to get approved for um her home. And God did that for her. God did that for her, my God. Look at God. Jesus. So I'm excited. My God. Jesus. Okay. Woo! Glory! Y'all better make me cut up. Woo! Hallelujah! Woo! Jesus. Okay. Woo! Woo! That's right. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. God is amazing. My God. Jesus. So, 2 Corinthians 12, uh, 9 says, But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you. Hallelujah. That's right. I command debt cancellation. I command debt cancellation right now. Just receive it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Just be expecting, my God. Hallelujah. I, I literally see scissors in the realm of the spirit just cutting, my God. Cutting those bills up. Hallelujah. Jesus. Cutting, my God. The bondage is off in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Mm. Jesus. Woo. God, okay. I'm sorry. I can't dance, but I, I, I'm just going to give God praise because God is moving. My God. Jesus. Mm. Yes, Re receive it. Receive it. Hallelujah, Lord God. Yes, so God's hallelujah. So early this morning, I got finances for school to finish, and they said I didn't have. That's right. Yes, right. A woman of God on here, I think she sold a $50 seed. She sold a $50 seed in the ministry, and you know, the, the student loan, the, 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 the school said she didn't have the funds to go to school, but that $50 seed opened up the, he the heavens for her to go to school, hallelujah, to get the funds she needed for school. Look at God. Look at God. Man, there's power in the seed. Jesus. Man, y'all got me encouraged. My God, jeez, I feel good right now. Look at God. Woo! Okay, hallelujah. So, the word says, yes, glory, hallelujah. The word says, yes, this is good ground for harvest. Amen, I receive that, hallelujah. This is kingdom. Your seed will go help me get the uh, gospel. You're going to partner with the ministry. Your seed is helping me get the gospel to Jesus, uh, gospel of Jesus Christ to uh, South America, Central South America, certain parts. Hallelujah. So, hallelujah. So, God says, you know, his grace is sufficient for us. His grace is sufficient for us. Come on, somebody. And his power, you know, come on now. His power is made perfect in our weakness. So let me tell you something. You may be weak right now. You may be weak right now, but come on now. At your weakest, God is the strongest. At your weakest, God is the strongest. Thank you. Thank you for those kind words. God is the strongest. You know, God gives strength to the weak. And those who have no might, he increases their strength. Maybe you feel like, God, I can't go on. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, maybe you feel like you can't go on. You, you feel so discouraged. Well, let me tell you something. Strength comes upon you. Now just receive it. Receive this impartation. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Come on now. Put your hand up to my hand. I don't want you to leave the same way that you came on the scope. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Hallelujah. Strength comes upon you now. Encouragement comes upon you now. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Some of y'all feel fire. Some of you feel your hands heating up. You're receiving an impartation. I, I literally feel fire coming on my forehead for somebody. I feel fire coming in my hand for somebody. I feel fire coming on my arm for somebody. Receive it. I feel fire coming in my belly for somebody. Receive that impartation. Receive it. And say, God, I'm not going to live another day discouraged. I'm not going to live another day in defeat. I got the victory. Amen. Great things are happening for me in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So we're going to boast all the more gladly in our weaknesses. So that the power of God, the power of Jesus Christ can rest upon us. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So, God, I thank you that we decrease God. And, God, I thank you that you increase God in us. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah, Lord God. So, God, we refuse to be discouraged today. That's right. Your hand is on fire. Receive that impartation, woman of God. Receive that impartation. God is confirming this word with his signs and wonders following. My God. Receive that impartation. My God. Hallelujah. I'm excited. Mm. Jesus, that's right. I literally feel God touching hearts right now. Like you've been brokenhearted. You might feel fire coming in your heart. I don't know if you feel fire. Hallelujah. But I feel fire coming in my heart for somebody. Hallelujah. Let's receive it. The word tells us, hallelujah, Joshua 1, 9, you know, have he, has he not commanded us? You know, it's a commandment, you know, to be strong and courageous, to be strong and courageous. You know, don't be frightened. Don't, don't be dismayed. 
For the Lord our God is with us wherever we go. I'm on fire. God is consuming right now. He's literally consuming. My God, Jesus, it is a commandment, you know, to be strong and courageous. You know, it's not, God didn't command us to be weak and, and, and discouraged. The devil is a liar. He commanded us to be strong, to face the adversity. We can face it head on because Jesus is with us. Come on, somebody. He is with us. Hallelujah. Are you not catching this? Are you not catching this revelation? He is with us. So God is with us wherever we go. He is with us wherever we go. We're not alone. We're not alone. I remember, hallelujah, when, when I, uh, you know, I had lost my job one time, right? I wasn't working. So initially, you know, my flesh, I wanted to get discouraged. So you know what I did? You know, I was like, I don't feel like doing nothing. I'm, I'm, you know, I didn't say it out of my mouth, but I, my actions spoke louder than words. So I laid in the bed, you know, and Holy Spirit came in my room, you know, and his fire got on me and I, I couldn't even be discouraged. So you know what I did? I got up out of that discouragement real quick. I went to the word of God and I started decreeing and declaring. I started worshiping and, you know, and then I had a turnaround, you know. So God, God worked that situation out for me. Amen. So it's time for you to get up out of that depression. I dare you today. I dare you to get some word, get, get, get some scriptures inside of you. Amen. Look up every scripture or you can go get this book, Overcoming Emotions with Prayers of God to Faith. Amen. You can look this book. You can look my name up on, uh, uh, I'm about to say YouTube. I'm on YouTube too, but you can look up uh, my name on Amazon.com. Or you can look up my name. Thank you for the kind words. You can look up my name on barnesandnobles.com and get these books. Amen. So you can read and pray and decree over your situation. Amen. I challenge somebody to fast. I challenge somebody. How you doing, April? I challenge somebody to fast and pray. Fast and pray. Come on now. Hallelujah. Jesus, come on. So, my God, God is with us wherever we go. That's right. Yes. Accept the day. I'm telling you, if you... Some of y'all just need to step up your faith, step up your giving, step up your, your fasting, step up your praying like never before and put in work. My God, you know, that's why I, I love praying better at night. That's why you've been doing. That's right. I love praying at night because miracles happen at night. That's why I try to do one uh, call in, in the month at night and one call in the daytime because I know. I'm telling you, when I tarry at night, I always get a breakthrough. Hallelujah. That's right. It's called um, Overcoming Emotions with Prayers at God to Faith. That's right. Hallelujah. I wrote this book when I when I went through the worst trial of my life. I lost everything. I lost my family. I lost my job. I lost my dreams, my hopes, my aspirations. And I start. I don't know how much it costs. Hallelujah. I think, you know, um, since it's thicker, it's going to cost maybe around 20 Um, But it's worth it. You know, hallelujah, because it's so thick. And it has over, like, I want to say 200 prayers in here. 200 prayers, you know. And not only does it have prayers, that's teaching on here about faith. Amen. But it's a spiritual investment. Hallelujah. But my other my other seven books, well, my other six books aren't as much. They're, like, maybe $8 or something like that. You know, but they're, they're thin, you know. But this one is, this one is thick. This one is really thick, you know. Hallelujah. It's called Overcoming Emotions with Prayers, A Guide to Faith. Overcoming emotions with prayers, a guide to faith. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. All right. God bless you. Thank you. Hallelujah. So the word tells us in, in, in John 16, 33, have, have I said these things to you that in me you will have peace? Come on. This is Jesus Christ talking. He said in Jesus, Jesus said in him, we're going to have peace. He said, in the world, we're going to have tribulation. Come on now. So he's warning us in advance that we're going to have tribulation. But he tells us to take heart. To take heart. Because we have overcome the world. You know? Because he has overcome the world. So I'm here to tell you today that you're an overcomer. You're going to overcome that adversity. Hallelujah. We eat up 20 and spend on foolishness. Let's support our sister. Thank you so much, woman of God, for, for that. I appreciate that. That's right. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Miss D. Hallelujah. So he, he tells us, that's right. We're overcomers. We're going to overcome. That's right. Put it up there. If you believe that you're overcoming today, type, I'm an overcomer. I am an overcomer. I don't care if you have difficulty. Let me tell you something. God has placed an impossible situation in your life. You know why? The impossible situation there is there so you can build up faith. And, you know, so you can trust God to do it. Because you cannot do it in your human strength. You need supernatural help. You need God to actually do it. That's right. You need, oh my gosh, for the anointing on this. 
You need God to, to break through those limitations because you cannot do it yourself. Amen. And God it's there because God wants you to, God wants to do it for you. Amen. God wants to break through those limitations for you. God wants to show you that he's God. God wants to show you another side of him. God wants to show you that he's powerful. God wants to show you the supernatural side. Some of y'all haven't even seen the supernatural side. Who am I talking to today? Hallelujah. That's right. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. Hallelujah. You're going to be scratching your head. It's not going to make sense. Some of y'all are going to check your account and extra money there. It don't make sense. Some of y'all are going to get extra favor, promotion. It's not going to make sense. It's going to be so ridiculous, so outrageous. And it's the Lord's doing. Hallelujah. You know, miracles still happen. He's the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. Miracles still happen. That's right. Miracles still happen. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Ooh, I just feel the anointing on this. Hallelujah. God is going to, God is moving. Hallelujah. You know, I was, you know, I, uh, I can't even talk. You know why I always say God is moving? Because he told me that. Hallelujah. When I first start to learn to hear the voice of God, he says, I'm always moving. Even though you don't perceive it, I am always moving. God is moving. Hallelujah. So I decree over us right now. First Peter 5, 7. First Peter 5, 7. Hallelujah. That's right. The anointing is for me. That's right. Receive it, April. My God, receive it in Jesus' name. Fire, touch her right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I decree 1 Peter 5, 7 over us. My God, hallelujah. And I literally feel something like wet on me. My God, hallelujah. Jesus, just receive it. My God, hallelujah. Jesus, hallelujah, Lord. Lord, I, we, we're going to cast all our cares on God. We're going to cast the, the anxieties, the cares of this world, the cares of this life. We're going to cast it all on God. We're going to cast it on him today. Hallelujah. We're, we're not going to give up. Hallelujah. To say somebody type up here, I cast my cares, I cast my cares, I, I, I cast my cares. Hallelujah. If you like what I'm saying, just, just invite followers. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. I say, I'm, yeah, that's right. I'm feeling it. You're feeling something breaking. Something is breaking. Something is shifting. God is moving. Something supernatural is happening right now. That's right. I cast my cares. I cast my cares. Hallelujah. We're not going to be burdened no more. We're not going to be discouraged no more. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You know, because I know that if God is for us, who can be against us? Come on, somebody. You need to know without a shadow of a doubt that God is for you. God is for you. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So who could be against you? That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. Lord, whatever you're doing in this season, please don't do it without me. I love that prayer. I'm about to pray that in my own prayer closet. My God. Hallelujah. So it says, God, you know, God, I just thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. That you're filling us, God, with joy and peace right now. I'm just thanking God in advance for the miracles that's happening, for the for the breakthroughs that's happening, for the deliverance that's taking place, for the healing. I, I'm just thanking him in advance. Hallelujah. I decree Psalms 31, 24 over us. Bless you, bless you. Hallelujah. Joshua lives. Why do I see TV ministry? I see a TV ministry for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ooh, I just I just heard TV ministry. My God, Hallelujah, for you, Joshua lives. Uh, Joshua lives. I said uh, Joshua. Uh, Yeshua lives. My God, well, I'm, I'm mispronouncing that. Yeshua, Yeshua lives. 